Welcome to the Keepers of the Golden Gate session. I want to say 41. Is it 41? It probably is 41. I said 41 enough. It's 41, part 2. I am Brian, the GM. It's the 3rd of April, 2020. Here are the players. Hello. I'm Adrian. I play Arya Bluebird, the half elf druid. Hey, I'm Scott. I think I play Crumbar, who's <laughs> a, meant to be a half orc paladin, but I might have given up that memory. Could you give up your salty Hi, memories I'm as well, so maybe? <laughs> Hi, I'm Sophie. I play Kitlith Anastasia, a wood elf. Hi, I'm Stuart. I know exactly who I am. I play Reach, a half elf monk. Perfect. And also, Sophie, you cut off at Rogue again, by the way. Oh, for, me, for anyway. God's sake. It's maybe only me, though. Keep in mind, I'm only getting so much because my connection's so bad. Um, but you're the only one recording it. Yeah, no. So. That's why I'm stating it for so I'm a wood elf <laughs> Um, so, uh, as for that, we've got everything there. We've got a scene with Scott as Crumbar in the shop with Oradak, who's just Mr. Said, Miyagi. Yeah, basically, yeah, and he's just said he's a uh, the head of the he's like the archmage mm -hmm. essentially of the college. Well, he wouldn't call himself the archmage because mm -hmm. that's what just Doria's title is. Besides Princess. Pardon me, sorry. And I was just be like, when he says this, I was just be like, oh, guess we've came to the right person then uh, to get this ash of ours appraised. Is there a right person and a wrong person in such matters? Well, it's a cheaper person, but yeah. <laughs> hey, outside that... conversation, man. <laughs> Stop heckling my shopkeeper. Like... <laughs> like, oh, Reach, where did you show me? I would just feel like... It's actually the Reach uh, that you I'll, remember, just... Crumbar? It's not actually Reach. <laughs> <laughs> I would just feel like... Um... It's like a foot shorter honest... than the actual Reach. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> not quite able to reach quite as much yeah. as reach. <laughs> it's the reach that hit uh, the tree reaching... trunk, remember, from the fight in the spa? That's the only reach you remember. That, 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 that's it. It's Reach's uh, distant cousin, not quite able to reach. Mm. Ah. <laughs> uh, no, I'll just say to him, I'll be like, well, um, matters of magic have never really been my strong point. So I try not to get involved but you you i feel is like was a good choice so you chose me did you whatever fate has led me led us here you believe in fate i believe in many what do you, what is it you believe in he smiles and says, Myself, for one thing. See, when he says that, I had a big grin and, like, like, you know, warrior tap on my chest yeah. and be like, It's like, it's yes. Same, bro. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that kind of, I couldn't agree more. Mm -hmm. Was there anything else you wished to discuss with me? Still interested as to where you're from. I imagine you are. As there may be people I know who are from similar areas. I doubt that, but it's a nice thought. Yes, it's Gallifrey. It's the two heartbeats that gives it away, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's quite Doctor Who actually, isn't he? Yeah. I'm just, you know, it's good because I'm, I'm, I've run this through my head. It should be okay if he doesn't. We go. Does the name, you know, does the name Celeste mean anything to you? Does the name Celeste mean anything? to you, and should it mean something to me? 
means a great deal to me. Right? Does its meaning to you affect why it should mean something to me? To you? Wow. Ryan, I'm too drunk for this. I, I mean, <laughs> I'm going to bed. This is this is the way he responds. Yeah, I was just say it's like. I'm still go so bored. I'm still confused. So don't worry. <laughs> okay, good. It's not just me. Um, I'll just be like, well, I need to get a message to a friend who. Let's just say I can't quite reach. And, and <laughs> <laughs> he said it. <laughs> And <laughs> uh, oh, if if you did, if you were um, an acquaintance of hers, I was hoping you could tell. Is this the friend trapped in the book your colleague mentioned? No. But if you could help with that book, we definitely would need. You know, we definitely need the help as we can't, it only seems to let us read it when it wants us to. It's a very smart book then. I kind of laughs a bit of that. It's, uh, the book is not really my burden. No. And he kind of just looks I back at the axe other... on the table in front of you. <laughs> Had my intelligence score of like negative four. Uh, <laughs> um, Me and my stats agree. I have not to have a thought about this. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, I, I I won't lie. Like whenever I do try and think of what Crumbar is going to say and stuff, I do. He's pretty much aced every single history role you've ever rolled, though. So I mean, Crumbar obviously read a I bunch mean, of books uh, looking uh, for naked ladies. So. I mean, I mean, I do have a high wisdom. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so you might not so, get to the idea yourself, but you usually understand it when it's been told, like, told to you. So. Yeah. Um, but I'll just be like that. But I take it you do not know who I speak of, so I will leave it. And just smiles at that. As you wish. Mm -hmm. But I am interested as to how you became the head of the College of Magic here. Someone had to teach. There was a vacancy. <laughs> and I just kind of look a bit disappointed. I was like, oh, some for a bit of a more story than that. Um... You just kind of stand smiling. And I'll just stand up. Did you want something for the like, hangover? I don't think I could afford the, whatever it is you offer. A mere five gold. And he like gestures with his hand to the side and like magically obviously a bottle flies to his hand. And it says... Surely a man draped in gold could share five pieces of it. You know, just, uh, just a second, just a second. Just a second. Sorry, just reading my personality. <laughs> just reading my personality. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And I'll be like, hmm. Money's never really been something I uh, I put uh, too much stock in, and I'll just at that I'll just fling him over five gold. Just throw five gold in, yeah. Yeah, not like like yeet it at his face, but you know, like just so it lands on the table that I'm assuming is still there. I mean, your axe is still sat on it, so yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he sets the bottle down next to the coins and then lifts the coins up. Uh, 
Um, I will pick up the uh, potion of anti hangover and uh, just tan it. Yeah. With a with a with a polite cheers. <laughs> I think when you say cheers and drink it back, he just says here here. <laughs> <laughs> Very dryly. Yeah, and yeah, you don't feel hungover at all. It's like, yeah. And he's like, hmm. where did you get such a brew? I could use, I could, I could use this a lifetime ago. Perhaps you will purchase more, then. He just grins. Hmm. It's like, when the next hangover comes about, I'm sure I will. Hopefully you remember where to find me. And he just chuckles at that. <laughs> um, I'll pick up my axe off the table and go, mm -hmm. I'll be back. I'm going to go and meet with the rest of my friends. Um, but we'll be back soon. Yeah, and, and he just kind of like nods at you as you like head out, pick up your axe and go. Doody doody do. Come bar walking music. Mm -hmm. So yeah, everybody else is outside. Crumbar rejoins everybody else. Mm -hmm. right. so. I see I, you couldn't help yourself but uh, entertain. I learned most of what I needed. I'm not crazy with it. See him play for that guy, or just you heard him, yeah. The plan. Oh, you heard him. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. The, I was like, yeah. Well, you, you play your pan flute. And you That's know, me knowing from the past that he's had both very successful and very dreadful attempts mm -hmm. at playing it. I'm and this like, was an okay oh, attempt, yeah. <laughs> I think I'd just look at her and be like, I was playing. You remember playing, you just don't remember what you played, right? So oh, you remember, right, okay. You okay. know you gave it up. That's not like... Right, right, so... Yeah, you just know that if I you think that. back to that time, you can't think of what you played. Right, okay, sorry, I mis misinterpreted yeah. that. You gave up all knowledge um, of the song, not anything relating to the song. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'll be like, I'll just look at her and go, yes, uh, the last time it seems. Obviously referring to just that song, not the You're entire You're not going to play the pan flute anymore? You kind of see a bit of, like... Yeah, confused. <laughs> there you go. Well, not that melody anyway. Oh. That man, however, if we can call him a man, he seems to be the head of that um, arcane school. So I think we have stumbled across a good find with him. Did he do what we needed? Did he confirm the... What, so what, sorry? Did he do what we needed? Did he confirm the origin of the ashes? So I was outside. I don't. Yeah, I was like, I was more concerned about the origin of him. We'll oh. deal with. We'll deal with the ashes when uh, we get Lord Babelbush or whatever his name was. We'll deal with the ashes when we get Lord Deepname. I like the idea that you also gave up his yeah, memory as well. Not doing my head. <laughs> like, can I just point out that Babelbush would have been a much better name? <laughs> <laughs> you can, how dare you? Um, <laughs> yeah, so what's everybody else up to? So it's standing on outside waiting to. I would this. be looking around and perhaps seeing people being even more like hiding away from them. <laughs> And closing yeah. their shops and stuff, kind of like, oh. Yeah, actually, yeah, you're seeing your finding out who he was. Who exactly is he? 
Sorry. So he has um, told you that he is like the head of the school. The, he did, yeah, right, okay. I was going to say, mind of like the That's got to uh, be enough for uh, Deep Red, whatever his name is. Uh, Simply Red. Lord Battlebush. <laughs> uh, Bram Red, that's it. <laughs> that's close. Simply Red yeah. Battlebush. <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh man, he'd play the shit out of some D and D. Probably. So yeah, describe for me the scene we see. I am waiting on us walking away. Hey, do we want to give him the book? And. Um. Well, let's get Lord. Two seconds. Let's get Lord Deepman oh, first, Deepman. so that he can be present when we get these authenticated. Right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's go away. Try and find the Lord. Yeah. Well, you know the place he's staying. He's staying at that end. You all drank it. Yeah. So yeah, you yeah, can get there. Yeah. I think uh, as as everyone's walking away, though, I kind of grab Reach by the arm and kind of pull him back. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> um, and just just to kind of be out of earshot, uh, Kitty and Aria, and just be like, I know I've seen the, the image of that man in a book from the Golden Order before. I just can't remember why or what he is. However, given his position. I, I'd say it's a good source, but I think we should approach with caution. Yeah, okay, it's definitely the best source that we've got anyway at the moment, but... Uh, oh, I'm actually I can't. curious. See, no, yeah, oh, no, you told me that. Can I try oh, rolling a cannon now? Yeah, my cannon's not that great though. A cannon with disadvantage, yeah. Nice. Neither of me, but it's fine. Oh! Nah, yeah. never. Damn it, I should have given you a three. It wouldn't have mattered because the seven's what matters there. Seven would have been, yeah. yeah the oh, yeah, it would have been the seven. Uh, yeah. yeah, because it doesn't let you roll with advantage. It would just make it a normal roll, yeah. wouldn't it? Yep. Yeah, okay, never mind. Screw you. <laughs> but it's, it's just that, no, you've never. I think it, we should have looked at, was it Demon Ladies in books before, maybe? Somebody did. Somebody looked at Demon Ladies in books before, I think it was maybe Crumbar. But I feel like we've had this role before <laughs> where I'm sure Reach hadn't looked at demons in books at some point. So I feel like this is the same vi vein where you obviously had a very specific interest about reading stuff in the, the Order. I don't know what it was, what the subject was, but it definitely wasn't about weird people that have shops with memories and smells. <laughs> Definitely wasn't. No, you, you, don't, you don't know where this guy's from. You don't know what he is. Um, you're not sure at all. Not familiar. Not even remotely familiar. Uh, yeah, don't rec recognize him at all. Uh, mm. uh, never know though. Deep red. I keep wanting to call him deep red now. So <laughs> uh, <laughs> might have an idea. <laughs> what do you know that we don't? Oh, deep blue, deep red. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> yeah, right. mm -hmm. let's, let's go talk to deep man. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you head off. Uh, are you doing anything on the way there beyond chatting, or just heading straight to the whatever the inn was called? Uh, we could still do with somebody. That's a point. How to the trick a dragon. Uh. That's okay. No, we'll do this first. Yeah, go get him and come back. The head of the order would know someone, but mm -hmm. boy. So we're trying to trick dragons now. What? I yeah, we're, we're all up here to try and get a red dragon, aren't we? Yeah. Or yeah, a red dragon. Ultimately, yeah. 
That's part of it, yep. I mean, convince convince the Red Dragon to help us, not trick him into helping us. <laughs> I think Reed Anything chose his words do. carefully, not yeah. 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 <laughs> I think... Like, Zed, what's that behind your hey, ear? See if you dragged the Red Dragon kicking and screaming here, do you think Zedreka's going to complain? Like, I don't want... I think she's going to be happy with whatever goddamn help you can bring. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, I'm part and parcel about punching it in the face. That has been and most things in the game, yeah. Stuff. Yeah, it's the lonely the crab the tavern. That's the, the lonely crab taverns where you are hated to for Lord Bramred. But I, 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 yeah. Oh, sweet, yeah. <laughs> the lonely crab tavern. So yeah, you said there. I. And what's this? Maybe afternoon now. I think probably if he's got up early. So yeah, it's probably afternoon now. Uh, or at least heading that way. And uh, he's probably in the common room with his two dudes. Probably with a table full of food. Yeah. Mm. Um, nom nom. Does he as well known again? Right. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, we may as well join him. Get some food. We are as well joining him actually. Anyway, It'd save us in rations. Mm. Yeah. So just head up to the back end of the on the crab and then head over to his booth. Yeah. 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 So you get up there and he kind of looks at you and narrows his eyes at you so like he's struggling to grasp a concept and he says So I didn't dream that. <laughs> huh. No. And he just, like, just pushes like, like a leg of meat in his mouth. Or I'll just giggle and be like ready for round two? <laughs> <laughs> and he like laughs and spars <laughs> while he's jamming this like meat into his mouth as he's chewing away on it. And then he uh, like tearing off a piece of meat and chewing it, and he just like belly laughs over the table, Brian Blessed style, and uh, <laughs> he's like, "Oh, what a legend!" I don't think you're quite ready for round two, and he kind of winks, and then just starts laughing again. I he gestures mm. to the seats near him. At this point, out, I'm sober as a judge right now, so I can totally go around two. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, right, sit down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's okay, who were we talking So to? yeah, he just looks around and he's like, well, as he starts chewing more food. Yeah, we've been speaking with Dorath, uh, and he can confirm that the ash is demon ash. It's like he's a brown uh, for he be... over like eating a leg of like ham or something, and he's like a, okay, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Would he be suitable enough proof for you? Tear it off a piece of meat and jams it in his mouth. He wipes his mouth, and he's like, "Uh, don't know who is he." He's the heard, heard head of the arcane anvil. Uh, anvil, yeah. That's... Is he now? Okay. I mean, he'd probably do, yeah. I was hoping you'd have known and that would have been that easy, but okay. <laughs> never that <lied. laughs> It's a game with me, Stuart, it's never going to be that easy. Yeah. And kind of just nods. I was like, hey, I mean, if he's the head of something magical, I'm sure he's probably important. You see him start, like, finger eating more meats. <laughs> I'm sure he's probably important. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's just he's just sat there eating away. Okay, let's have everybody uh, have lunch first. Then we can go talk to him. I mean, you don't have food in front of you. He has all the plates of meat in front of him. If you want to yes. reach out for some meat, I mean. Mm. Oh wow. Yeah. I was thinking we can order lunch. Uh. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking this bit better give us some food. <laughs> you tell me how the scene plays out, I'll tell you how to how I react. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it works. This oh. is the exchange we've agreed to. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, I'll be like, mm, lots of meat there. Oh, uh, any to spare? And he's like waving a bone as he's, he's stripped off with his teeth and he's like, There's plenty of meat behind the counter, boy. And he kind of like, points the bone at you a couple of times and then laughs and uh, 
just starts chewing away on more stuff. What a penis. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we ain't getting anything for free. <laughs> no. No, it doesn't seem like he's willing to share the buffet of meat that's in front of him. It's almost as if he's a penis. I mean, you don't get rich by giving money away. This is how his philosophy in life is, right? So that only works for John Lewis. <laughs> Our new corporate sponsor. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> so what do you do is you all sit at the table looking at this man eat food. That go get food. Yeah, if they want to order some foods. Yeah. I like food. I don't know, what is it, like a gold or something for like a decent meal? <laughs> so, probably. Nom 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 nom. So, uh, you're either eating a that gold, or you're yeah. a ration. Yep, it's either a gold or a ration, so. Can I say, I type in food and up comes kobolds. Paint uh, flares. <laughs> nice. Maybe not type in food. What, you, wait. Uh, Sorry, you typed in food and it came up as kobolds. And yeah, mind flares. The searching through the the uh, website is weird at times, but yeah. like kobold mm -hmm. as in kobold and mind flare as in stranger things. Yes. Mind flares are from uh, the yeah. yeah. What this mule will do me? Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, one gold. So it's just a gold. That's what it costs yeah. to get some food here. The lone I like cabin. food. Yeah, it's pretty decent as well. Like it's a proper, um, you know, meal you get with everything, including including a drink and all that. So, yeah, some hearty breakfast meat. Nom nom nom. It's kind of a meal in itself, really. <laughs> so um, yeah, you think. After some time, if you sit there and eat and, you know, fill up, he just kind of sits there and starts, like, patting his belly slowly, like he's negotiating gravity. And then he looks at everyone and he goes as if he's about to speak. And he kind of stops. And he quickly grabs, like, his handkerchief out of his sleeve and pulls it up in his mouth and he just belches. How nice of him. And he just wipes away the, the sweat in his brow with his hanky and he's like, Oof, that was filling, you know. He speaks of work. <laughs> <laughs> and I would, I'm, I'm so tired to just to let out a massive one. But I think I shall hold. <laughs> so yeah, you've all eaten. You've sat there. Say it's very little except stuff in your faces full of food. So you've had lunch, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's like, well, this Dorath. Well, we go meet him to uh, give you. Oh, so it's not good enough that I have to know who he is and walk to him. Don't need to walk to him. Uh, Are you going to carry me, uh, Mr. Paladin? Uh, you could take her word for it. <laughs> he laughs at that and he goes, ah, and he just points a finger at you cheekily. <laughs> I believe in tomorrow, back to Forge. Just so you know. What um, what do you require? It's like, I don't require anything. It's you that are asking. Yeah, yeah. What proof do you require? Oh, I mean, you've literally just come back and said. This man I've never heard of says it is Demon Ash. So. Yeah, would you prefer someone you have heard of? As... I would prefer proof. I could just go. I mean, yeah. I'm a balloon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm, 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 <laughs> would you like? Those guys I could, are dead. I could, I could yeah. just say that, and obviously, yeah. uh, how do I know? Yeah, huh? what proof would you like? And he just starts like tapping the table with like his knuckles, and he's like, solid proof. What, sorry? Solid proof. He just like taps the table with his knuckles. Solid proof. Yeah. It, and what is solid proof? 
He rolls his eyes and leans back, and he's like, Jeez, you still make it. Easy. You just, you just want my help. I'm not here to tell you how to do this. Uh, where I come from, the head, the head of the magic order would be called solid proof. So, but uh, is that good enough for you? I don't know. No head of the magic order. But right now, you've only got words. Yeah. So, what do you, you want? To, would like it written down? Is is that would that be solid enough? Do you think? And he just starts like shaking his jowls at you a bit. I'm here trying to enjoy. My meal, and kind of gestures like the carcasses on the table. Uh, he's like, "You come here, harass me, want my food, want my name, my name, not no wizard name." And you expect me just to believe your word? No, 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 no. Solid proof, and he taps his knuckles on the table again. I'm sure. Whatever these gentlemen's names are, we'll see you out. And he like clears yeah, his throat uh, a bit. Salt be bringing the demon back to life. Oh. I mean, can you do that? Apparently. Should you? Do Apparently, that? it's possible. <laughs> no, definitely not. <laughs> That's maybe Sorry. maybe that proof's too solid. <laughs> he kind of just like nods his head, like looking quite disconcerted, wide-eyed. <laughs> It's like, anyway, and he starts clicking at his two associates, and they, they motion for everybody to get up and leave. <laughs> well, off you go. Busy day ahead of you. He's very good at not knowing what he wants. He's very good at being a penis. I mean, the thing is, though, you have said, right, cool, we'll go get you proof in some drunken drinking competition based evening, and then you have turned up again. He's remembered you existed, and have said, we have proof, it's this man. He said it was true, and that's it. So he's a yeah. proven nothing. I oh, have proved nothing, but we're asking what is proof because different people have different le- uh, ideas what proof. That's what. Yeah, just he, just what wants, is proof. he just wants something solid, right? Yeah, what is solid though written down? Or I do, mean, do that, we need to think about the life? That question what? is for you to go work out. I know, well, the, no, the question's for him. No. It's not. You don't know what is he's going to accept or not. You just need to go find something you think is solid proof. Do you think just saying, by the way, this guy said it was okay? Is that solid no. proof in Reach's head? Then go get some. No, it would be, but yeah. It was, <laughs> so, so, yeah. Maybe for Reach, but uh, yeah. not for a... Uh, what's his face? Deep Man. <laughs> who's obviously a stubborn dwarf who doesn't like wizards. Which means, though, would any wizard be solid? And if so, who else could provide solid? Mm. Is he going to trust? Is he going to trust the word of a wizard if he if he doesn't like them? But he's, he's again. He's are asking me questions I can't answer. Oh no no! <laughs> that was too. Uh, that was too Stuart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I guess to everyone, but as well, I'm wondering. No, just to Stuart. Keep everybody else out of this. <laughs> yeah. So I mean. Yeah, what what would you consider solid proof in that case? Like, what would you just need to believe it, right? For me, certificate on the authenticity. Uh, authentic. Yeah, but it's usually the creator that does that, and he's probably not in a to do that. Huh. Yeah, that's because the creator is probably the no demon right. king. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or it's like, yeah, <laughs> that or it's that big hell king boy. Yeah, but it's like appraising, right? It's appraising something, really, that you're trying to get. You're saying, is this real? Appraise this for me. Yeah, we're getting it appraised. Yeah. It's, it's, the, it's the demon antique roadshow. <laughs> Yay! Cash in your demon. <laughs> All those demons in the attic. Because we want to build a conservative. <laughs> but anyway, terrible daytime TV aside, unless they want to sponsor us, then it's great TV. Uh, what do you do? You get up and leave the the inn, or do you have any lasting remarks to part with? Mm. 
pass. <laughs> Anybody else? Like, I'm pretty sure Adri and Sophie still play this game, right? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just trying to figure out, because, like, if this person doesn't believe wizards, then maybe we'll... I'm trying yeah. to figure out who in this world would know about what's a demon and what's not a demon that's not a wizard, if he doesn't well, trust let's, me. Let's like, review for everyone. Would probably be... Let's review for everyone what he said. If he's the head of you know, the college, then it must be important. Right? That isn't yeah. him saying he doesn't believe wizards, he's obviously just... Not everybody likes magic users in the world, right? Yeah, I know. Unnatural creatures that they are. And some people that colour their opinion of mm -hmm. what the, those people say. Because mm -hmm. of that's, that's what I'm trying to figure out. And the idea that, by the way, this is the ash from a demon isn't something people necessarily actually want to believe. Right, because that maybe makes nightmares a bit too real. You know? Uh, true. Yeah. Remember, not everybody's a D&D &D player, so not everybody has all the skills you have to survive the bullshit that you go through. <laughs> Some people are just shop merchants, you know? Well, time, to, time for them to up their game and I mean, they did. The latest shop merchant you found is pretty badass, in fact. Hmm. So what is the group's plan? Let's just leave the lonely crab. We're going to give him the book for a bit of paper that says this is authentic. Right. Hear me out. Right. Strap in, everyone. What? Strap in for this. What? Yeah. <laughs> we punch him in the face. Which one? Yes. It's very valid, isn't it? Which one? <laughs> Is that solid proof enough for you, buddy? Punch. Uh, the one who can kill us by snapping his fingers, or the idiot? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, no. Um, I just, I think that book is going to be our only link to Eremos, and end of the day, that is, I once we're done with the uh, abyss that is going to be like our kind of main jam kind of thing so I don't really want to go throwing away a book that's that important because I doubt Mr. Miyagi is going to give us it back so easy <laughs> but you would be able to more likely understand it or is the best way to say that yeah which might be a thing for later on this life, but <laughs> this mortal uh, coil. Yeah, like I mean, like the the game, like the mm -hmm. game yeah. type, game life. Thing. You, yep. Yeah. Um. Right now, I don't want to. I don't want to give him the book because I still, I still don't know exactly who or what he is. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to throw away what could possibly be Eremos's only communication to us. Mm -hmm. Um. All valid points, yeah. We could just try going up and just dropping a butt ton of money. I mean, it's not like we don't have a butt ton of money. To who? Mm -hmm. To Magic Guy. Magic the guy, Man. The guy who said he didn't want your money. Twice. <laughs> Did it? Yes. Yeah. Literally three times he's gone, your money has no... Yeah. <laughs> In my, defense, Crumb in my defense, I'm just playing Crumbar, who's <laughs> hung at that time and probably wasn't fully listening in on the conversation. Thank you, Sophie, for listening in. <laughs> okay. I am here. <laughs> yep. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Um, no. Um, mm. Yes. No. Maybe. It really depends. I, 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 I don't know. Like, what... So I think giving up the book's a big deal either way, right? So, if you're not giving up the book, what are you offering instead? That's the thing Callum. you have to work out. <laughs> you just don't have him, though. That's the thing. You can't offer what you don't have. Uh, yeah. He also, like, keep in mind everything he said where he won't take something that's not given. So, okay. Oh, we'd be happy to give him a 
Right. <laughs> Ar- Aria, Aria, hear me out. Right. Callum, don't listen to them. They're all dicks. The sword is so bad. Can we give him the birdie? <laughs> wow. Uh, okay. I right. seem like a maybe. <laughs> okay. I'll stick it on you. <laughs> okay. In that case, so. See how you like it not having one. <laughs> what about me? Right. Hear me out. No. Can we? Can we give him magic birdie? <laughs> Mm. Only if you promise to buy the materials to get a new one. You can just steal them again or go on a date. Hey, right, look. <laughs> right. <laughs> Listen up. <laughs> no. <laughs> Kitty stops for no man. <laughs> oh, shit. It's alright, that guy's probably the zombie plague anyway now, right? It's fine. It's totally yeah, fine. Probably. Clary Higgins is off, remember? <laughs> and, and his grandma's business is, you know, up in flames because of the. As a zombie, she's probably still thing. standing at her stall serving people. <laughs> oh, I mean, that. Yeah. We could use this to our advantage. Zombies are not good at math. I don't think you've thought that through. But anyway, um, speaking of this particular dilemma and not a hypothetical problem you may or may not have caused in Glittery Hagen, the place you are not, shall we discuss what you are going to do about. You know he'll accept the book, but the book will be his at that point. So that is a thing to consider. Or you need to offer something as unique, right? Because that's what he cares about, unique things. So what else do you have as a team? No, I I doubt he's going to be able to steal the book. I ain't going to try that shit with him. This is how she ended up as a cat in the first place. <laughs> uh, not quite. Uh, well. <laughs> um, I, mean, I do have the broken bracelet of the princess, but I think she would kind of if I gave it to somebody. Because it is hers. You also don't. Those scattered across the ground and you never pick them up. I did oh. specifically state they all scattered. Yeah, okay. I think you then told me to put it down here as bro- broken. like to when Yeah, but it's it, like the I... chain of it, not all the little charms that were on it. Because remember, it was full of little charms. Oh. Yep. I didn't realise that as a player. Yep. Uh, okay. You want to you wanna go back? <laughs> 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 Quick, let's go back and pick up all those charms at me. Hi, wait, there. we still have horses. I'll go jump on one. <laughs> uh, Insert montage here. <laughs> Several thousand <laughs> miles from <laughs> <around> Germany. <yeah. laughs> okay, we're back. Me, 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 more, me more of those guys like, geez, oh, I'm keeping the shop open. Like, where the hell are they? They said they'd just be right back. <laughs> Another five minutes and I might get angry. <laughs> Just goes back to floating. Mm-hmm. He's obviously playing Animal Crossing in his mind. So, what's the plan, guys? Fire and lots of it. Um, really, I don't know. That I... is actually the plan, by the way, Scott. Even though you were joking there, that is the plan. Mm-hmm. You're there to get the red to help at the abyss. So that is literally lots I, of fire, I mean, please. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm skeptical about giving up the book, but I really, no, nah, no, nah, I hate to say it, but I think it is our only option. <laughs> I love it. It's the only option. Hugging the jug. You are not taking the jug. The jug has more been more useful than this bloody book. So far, <laughs> so the book has got one important you that the what? jug cannot fulfill. What finding Aramos? Yeah. Yeah, but Aramos is a cunt, so... <laughs> yeah, so he's going to take your jug away from you, that's what you're saying. <laughs> yeah. But, jug feeds group, Aramos gives us migraines. So, <laughs> so they've both got the same job. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> jug gives the you hangover, migraines. Yeah. <laughs> so, does anybody have anything else that Not... would take the place of the book? There's a better question. Does anybody think they have anything 
of like uniqueness equatable to the book. Chug actually though, that's decent. I mean, literally summoned I'm by the great that, I'm, Wait, whoa, wait! I've still got that potion of fire breathing. I don't know what. But that banded I get. We've still all got those ones of pyrotechnic thing. Potion of greater healing, I doubt that, but. Nah, all that's relatively common. Yeah, I was thinking. Yeah, like. You can find a shelf, especially in this place, with stuff like that. Mm. It's a tough one, isn't it, guys? Because I mean, it doesn't need to be the book, that's just the first thing you showed him that was of interest. Mm -hmm. But it, his only stipulation was unique. Really means, well, most I'm really racking my brain here because I don't really know what we could give him. Is what, there what is, unique things do people have in their inventory? Like, right, the no, here, here's what I'm thinking. Could, here's yeah. what I'm thinking, right? Not what unique things we have in our inventory. What unique things could we obtain while here? Like, is there Kitty? Uh, is there like a like a museum or something like that? Like a in museum. this place? <laughs> or I don't know. Some some like I don't know. Unique items are us or something like, like that. The Mona Lisa. Yeah, this is just becoming <laughs> national treasure. Like yeah, just yeah, basically, <laughs> look at my list. <laughs> basically, can we can we heist something, or could we even possibly buy a unique thing? And then give that to him. Can we mini quest to solve our mini quest to get back to the main quest? <laughs> I mean, I am still willing to give up the Golden Order cross uh, crowbar. Yeah, the only thing say. is, what do you think is going to happen? I honestly, God, thought you <laughs> were joking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God, let's try that then, because then it'll be like, ah, oh, yes, this will suffice, and then it'll give us the information. Crowbar, this is appears, and we're like, played you suck away, <laughs> and then you're and then turns into butterflies. Yeah. Hey, I could totally play this as a butterfly. It would make travel so much easier. No, I'm saying your proof would turn into a butterfly. Like... Um, okay. That would make things a bit more difficult, yes. but... Yeah. Pretty much mm. anything of the Golden Order is unlikely to work. Because that's all like... It's like trying to hand over like a police car to a garage and they're like no <laughs> no touching it clearly you don't go to the right garages <laughs> evidently and this guy is not the right garage it seems <laughs> plus somebody that can enchant beads to give you your favourite like memory smell sensation as you walk in his store clearly is going to know if an, an object's going to just vanish a couple of mo moments later right so I mean, you'd think that. You would think that, yes. But if you want to go try mm. that, you're welcome to. I'm going to go with no. It's when you end up spending the rest of the days as the shop dog because you forgot how to be a crumbar. <laughs> <laughs> crumbark? <laughs> yep, crumbark. There we go. <laughs> oh. So yeah, I think that's well. a good idea. Why don't you just, like, let's go down the list, are you? What unique things do you think you have access to on your sheet? What would you consider unique items? Not to say you're going to give them up, just an inventory. Well, oh, I believe we've agreed that I no longer have Vermosis. Say that again, or, sorry, I, I can't hear you. I, I can't remember if we agreed that I no longer have Vermosis' favourite book. Or... <laughs> Didn't I you give it? I, I feel like you gave it to. I, some... to take... I feel like you gave it to Reach. I want to say, but then, yeah. Well, so that'll be the one he has. Well, the, no. the kid gave me that book to write. Yeah, me. yeah. The, the book he has is the one Eremos handed to him and say, "This one's for you." Yeah. Uh, yeah. And he's like, "Oh, I can't read it." And he's like, "Oh, you but will." I, think I ended up with a favorite at some point. <laughs> you did. You like you picked up Eremos's book that he had, the one that. He had before all the crazy stuff with uh, him and then the Archmage, what's her name? Justoria. Okay. So, 
Yeah. But I feel like you gave that to Reach. And I don't know why I think that, but that's in my head. But somebody in the group has that, that, I'm sure. But it's fine. Okay. So I don't have that, even though my inventory says it does. I'm saying I'm somebody, that right now. somebody no, no, has yeah, that. I book. think you do have that, because I don't. I don't put it in. Yeah, in, in and if he's not wrote it down, then no. Right. It's, you still have that. Okay. You, you keep it. Okay, and I have the part of the of the thingy, but I don't have the charms and stuff that were on the Yep, the broken kind of chain, yep. And that's kind of it. Like, everything else is just gear and water skins and rope and potions and shit. And a demon-infused hellbow, yeah. Could we... <laughs> sorry, could we see a Eremos' book? Could we ever... I can't like his, fa his favorite one. It wasn't coming up to me, so can you what? See the Eremos's favorite book. Could you ever read it? Was that what you asked? Yeah. Could we uh, read Remember he showed you that. pictures and stuff? Because he, he, he drew you in Reach Spying and stuff like that in it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that's the one that he was Anything doing he on. showed you, you could see. But nobody ah. ever just looked through it on their own. That could be a shout because I'd be more reluctant to give him that than give him... I mean, the thing is, so right, if you're basing the Eremos book collection, what one's going to get you to Eremos? One is his book. The other was a book he gave to Reach. Mm. Right? My brain hurt. Mm. Wouldn't they ever been able to read the one that he gave me so, oh, when yeah. he's not been there. Oh, yep. Nice. Mm. Uh, also then, if that's everything you can think of, Arya, because, I mean, you definitely skipped over yeah. your bow, which is definitely a unique item in your yeah, inventory. Yeah, yeah. But, but uh, I did say gear. Mm -hmm. I did say gear, but... Yeah, but a bit more detail. Yeah. So, bow, anything else? Bow, bracelet, um, book, really, it was, I think. Yeah. Was it just a bracelet? Bracelet. Uh, yeah. I have I have various little animal trophies, but that, they don't really count, I guess. Or as far as scimitars. What animal trophies? Stuff. I think it's ever established. It was part of the yeah. druidic focus. That was like trophy from an animal. I think that was kind of came with my. Yeah, I, I think it's from one of your backwards. It, it, it can pretty much be whatever yeah. you want it to have been. Like if it was like the tusk from something or like the bit of fur from something, it doesn't yeah. really matter. Like it can be. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, it's just the thing that gives me my druidic focus. Memories, though. So. Yeah, that's good. Torch rations, rope. What about you then, Crumbert? Do you want to go through your list? Really, for me, the only things I can see are my axe, my pan, possibly, and that's really it. I mean, I don't think the wand of pyrotechnics counts. Jug, cough, jug. Yep. Definitely <laughs> on the list. <laughs> It's really telling what people I mean, value. Yeah, the yeah, the ju yeah. <laughs> Jug as well. Um, mm -hmm. But that's it. I don't really, didn't really get in off air moss or just story. Besides grief. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I almost slightly don't. Mm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm really loath to say this, but Kitless? Do you want to go through your list? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that'll be a session in this. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it's just the, the dagger and the thing of demon ash. Because mm -hmm. everything else is like golden order, which means as soon mm -hmm. as I hand it over to someone, it'll disappear unless they are of golden order. So. Yeah. Mm. And then reach. Uh, uh... Well, the book, my bracelet, I think that is it. Yeah, I think it may be, yeah. It's the handy thing about not having to use weapons, I guess, isn't it? Yeah. Technically, your hands are unique things now, are they not? Yeah. <laughs> Given them would be awkward. Yeah. Or at least continue <laughs> to be able to walk and so on and mm -hmm. breathe and eat or then <laughs> that would be awkward. Yeah. yeah. So I guess, there you go, there, there's your pool of stuff, guys. Uh, now what can you live without? Yeah. <laughs> right. Things I'm thinking. Books. 
jug. I've got a map. Why not a Adri's book? So, Eremos's favourite book. Yeah, his favourite book. I'm not saying he won't be disappointed, but he's probably going to be happy enough just meeting us when he does. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can say that we, we can say that we had to trade it for something. Yeah. If we didn't ever, if we we had to trade it, or else we'd never have got to him again, and blah blah blah, and just shut up and be grateful that we're here. <laughs> Stop you crying, stupid kid. You could always. Sorry. So here's the thing, right? So Sophie's character, Kitlith would think of this that scrying magic works best with something that belonged to the person what magic? scrying what's that voodoo like find, pins and like dolls finding oh. stuff is what scrying is um, because so basically you use something that belongs to someone it is something they have owned is like got their essence in it as such, so you'd be able to then tap into that like and sympathy, it should point yeah. you in the direction. Right, okay, in that case, let's not get rid of the book that he owns. Yeah, that was kind of the reason why. But technically, he also wrote the other book as well, just to be fully transparent yeah. here. Yeah. It's right. just that it's, why, it's, why, I'm why just why giving you as much, and I don't want to get you to pick something and then regret it later because you didn't know something. So. He wrote both books. Uh, he gave right. yeah. Reach a book saying this one likes you. Take it. And then Reach like, oh, I can't read it. He's like, oh, no, not yet, obviously. Um, and then Eremos has his book he drew and sketched in and wrote in and stuff. So they are both his books then? Yep. Technically one's way. Reach's now. Oh yeah, because that was mm. a gift. Yeah. I would think it would still have the essence of the creator and it would not. You could think that, yeah. It's perfectly reasonable to think that, especially based on like, all the rules of like scrying you know thus far, right? Yeah. It was made by him. Yeah. So, yeah. So, I just want you to know everything about that, because obviously, you know what, if I let's... was picking something to scry with, I'd pick the one he used all the time, personally. But then, maybe that's more valuable. Maybe you could get more for that. In fact, I so. can't. I can't give the jug. That's golden order. I mean, the difference is it wasn't pulled out of an armory, it was summoned by the great gold worm. Yeah, yeah, so with, yeah but... So, there's a, there's a difference between magical suit of armor hanging on a shelf for people to wear in the service of the golden order and the giant gold dragon man wanted a drink, so summoned a jug. Right? They're very different. Like, to the right people, that might be the most valuable thing in the world right now. <laughs> it is to me, because it's like... A, a god-crafted jug. Let exactly. I, I, I think it is... <laughs> I think it is more Not valuable. Not just the bringer of beer, right? Forget that. Forget the bringer of beer. The harbinger of booze. It is... <laughs> the harbinger of hangovers, more like it. It is... A kind of... A relic... Right, it's a holy relic. <laughs> mm. That's this. This is why I don't want to give it up because I don't want to give it up for just a bit of paper where this. Oh yeah, that's demon ash, and then we take it. So now the most worrying it, thing would be if it ever vanished. Yeah, <laughs> that would be. Don't take my. No, I mean just in general for what I could imply. Hmm. So yeah, what's the what's the call here, guys? What is the what he's given to strange as, memory uh, monster I, or a deck draft? Yeah, I know I'm going like completely against myself again, but I'm going I'm going for one of the books. I agree with one of the books, and reading between the lines, probably the one I've got. And there's no reason why we can't try and get it back, right? Uh, it's unlikely we can get it back. I assume we can. Mm. Not unless the dragon's going to use one of his teeth. <laughs> 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 
Yeah. Hey, it depends. If you've got something super unique, maybe they'll value it more. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's a good point. We don't know what we're going to get when we end up going back to the abyss. So. Well, whatever we get, we probably don't want to give it away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially with the reaction that, uh, what's his face, Deep Man gave you. I was like, what, can, can you do that? Does it, will it come back? <laughs> <laughs> should it? I don't think you should do that. Uh, uh, it's not an easy call, buddies. It's not an easy call. But it needs to be made. Is that or just try and break into the Undermarch and try and navigate yourself to Forge and then try and justify to all the Dwarven people there why you are there? I mean, I could punch a Dwarf, so I'm good I mean, with yeah, that. You, you could. Can you punch a thousand Dwarves? I could punch a thousand and two Dwarves. Yeah, I think but I'm not a thousand though, so that's the key number anything that isn't yeah, a thousand but I mean, and two <laughs> I can't imagine that it'd just be me doing all the punching so I think for the first couple of punches maybe everybody goes oh god why and then maybe yeah. Yeah, after that yeah <laughs> you could make an order like you please yeah. I'll mm-hmm. <laughs> be right with you <laughs> line up line up <laughs> punch an orc they said okay. It's like, sorry, can I get punched first? Um, I need to be somewhere soon. <laughs> no, no skipping. But anyway, <laughs> let's not make jokes about avoiding the the hard choices we need to make. Yeah, I'm say I I say book or we attempt to sneak across the undermarch because uh, there's more threats in the undermarch that wouldn't be dwarfs, but I think would be able to handle. And then when we get through, they're just like, what the hell? Okay. Yeah, it would but be then it's intri- like, the thing is, it's getting into Forge at that point would be mm. your next biggest challenge, right? Because again, these aren't dwarves. But Kitty could be a dwarf. For a bit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Like, run very fast. Yeah, I was going to say, Kenny, how do you feel about being the sole <laughs> infiltration plan to get the king's help <laughs> by breaking yeah. in to forge his city? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Um... <laughs> As an elf, no less. Yeah. <laughs> you love elves, don't worry. <laughs> Starts another war. <laughs> this time with the wood elves. <laughs> Probably not a good idea. And punch <laughs> everything is a good uh, <laughs> I'll tell that to um Chan when he joins. I'll say, right, pre work as it is you'll need to have a good game plan. <laughs> otherwise you're not allowed in. <laughs> otherwise we're fucked. <laughs> otherwise it's a uh, punching all the way down. But yeah. Shall we just shall we just trade a book? That's, yeah, that seems like the way you're building. I don't see any yeah. other options yeah. that you're yeah. willing to part with because you definitely want your jug, your god jug. Um, <laughs> I think it's a lot more valuable than a fucking certificate of authentication. Mm-hmm. Okay, which book? Mm, which? And if in? if you still had Callum, so you still had Eric, who still had his book, that could have been a third option. Mm. He destroyed his bit. Yeah, he threw it into yeah. like an electro field that blew it up. Yeah. <laughs> I remember. His hammer would have been super unique as well, actually. Mm. Yeah. But quite it. dangerous. <laughs> was in the wrong hand, so. Yeah. One million percent. I should, have, <laughs> I should have stole that hammer when I had the chance. When did you have the chance? <laughs> Anytime. I could have easily beat him. <laughs> I mean, well, I think he would have freaking electrocuted you. I think you did nearly kill him, though. He, like, he did. <laughs> yeah. Okay, though, so we do my book, though, because we can use Andrew's book for the location purposes. Yeah, if that's how you want to deal with it, yeah. Both, again, based on your questioning earlier, Stu, yeah. They were both made by him, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, if you, it's up to you if you want to pick it, because obviously the one you've got is the one that had the message in it. Yeah, it's uh, our communication with them. But let's hope so he's probably, not going to too so late. Probably maybe it's... mine might be better to give because 
The Do thing is, Stu's Stu suggestion Night. is that his is like the one you've got is more connected to Aramos. Yeah, yours is more tied into the kid. Mine's maybe more tied into because he's still his. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Ownership. Yeah. You quotation marks borrowed yeah. it from him. So. <laughs> <laughs> is holding on to it till she sees him again. Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> not using it as potential currency to get into the dwarf kingdom. Yeah. True. Do, to be fair, Eremos would have loved this. To be fair, getting to see a bunch of dwarfs. Yeah. Um. So. You want to give up that book then? Yeah, yeah. Cool. So you Everyone see... else, yeah. Unless there's another idea. So, Arya, you're on board? Like yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good. Crumber? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Good. Right, so you just head off back to the uh, random store. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Walking, you go. guys we floating need... there. Yep. <laughs> Need yep. solid proof that this is the ash shop, and you can have the book for currency uh, for payment. Uh. He stares at you while he's floating there. And he says, "Did you rehearse the line on your way back?" No, laughs. but this bloody idiot told us, <laughs> so I just <laughs> repeated it. <laughs> and uh, he, he chuckles and he, he puts his feet back on the ground. And he says, To whom are you trying to prove this to? Uh, ultimately, the Dwarf King. And it kind of like, he pauses for a split second, and he's like, I see. And you have an audience with the Dwarf King? Uh, <laughs> Not really, but we need one. There was actually one wee thing here. Like originally, that we could get all the way to the uh, dwarf kingdom. Uh, you split that up at different places. And then the other conversation at Undermarsh or something. Like that. So the Undermarsh is how you get to forge from our anvil. That is how all the dwarfs travel between the two yeah. cities. It's just yeah. really, really dangerous. But he can get us all the way to Anvil, can he? Said you're in Anvil just now. Right, okay, uh, to forge, I mean. I mean, it's going by the Undermarch, yes. What he's saying yeah. is he can get you into forge. Right. But it's still, you need to go through the Undermarch to get there. That's the only way between the two cities. Yeah, yeah. So, regardless, either way, either be sense. breaking into the Undermarch and sneaking through all the crazy tunnels you don't know how to navigate towards the city you aren't allowed in, or you follow the noble dude and he lets you in. That was the different options from previous. Yeah, I'm still wondering how we get to talk to the king after that. But that's a... the, uh, Deep Man said he would vouch for you. Whether or not the king agrees is a different matter. Yeah. But he did say that he would get you in to forge and vouch for you if you got him proof demons were a problem. Yeah. And obviously that's led you guys to want the ash to be approved by somebody magical to then say to Deep Main, by the way, look, it is approved by somebody magical, let's go to Forge. And speak to your king. That's pretty much, that's us up to date. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, he let's asks, do you have an audience with the, the king? Is the last uh, thing he asked. Nope, we just have someone who vouch for to meet him. I see. Do you mind if I know the name of who is no problem. Deep man. I see. Yeah. Emotions towards Kitleth. Do you have the case? Yes. He takes the case from you. And uh, he sits on a table that's now there. And he says, And do you have the payment? Yes. Here you go. And he takes the book. And he sits that on the table as well. And he says, Do you wish me to introduce you to the Dwarf King? <laughs> that would be great if you... You see Arya kind of mentally preparing herself to scowl at him. If he says, what would this mean to you? <laughs> and he says, as before... 
cost. I take it the book is not enough. The book is payment already for the authenticity of the demon ash. You ask a second thing. Well, we don't have anything for the second thing, so but, no, we'll just but take the also, Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. What I'm thinking is we know what if, if he was to introduce us to the demon king, uh, to the dwarf king, <laughs> we no longer. The demon king? You saw through his home. ruse. Right. <laughs> I'm going home. Uh, um, no, I mean, if he was to do that, then we'd no longer need the ash authenticate. Like, yeah, I'm like. Yeah, kind of. Um, yeah, so here's the thing you kind of still do need it. Yeah, because how are we going to tell the king there's a demon invasion coming if we don't have. King's probably got his own mages to prove stuff. Right. Any king worth his salt would have much. Mm. Salt's actually very cheap in a uh, forge. Yeah. <laughs> Dwarves are really salty. Um, Crumbar okay. steps up and goes, if you introduce us, and uh, introduce us to the king and vouch for us, you may have this, and I place the job on the on a table that I'm assuming is now just appeared. You place what on it? Sorry, that cut off for me. I've placed the jug on the table. The jug? Oh, this was, I was like, this was crafted by the Great Gold War. It can make many like once a day. Do you all accept? Yeah. And he kind of nods. And he says, Excellent. And uh, he takes the jug and sits it on the table with the case and the, uh, the book. And then he picks up the uh, the case and hands it back to you, Gitlith. Mm -hmm. And then just in his other hand, a scroll appears. And uh, he presses his like thumb onto the scroll and like a wax seal just like forms underneath it and he hands it to you thanks you're welcome uh, when would you like to be introduced to the king as soon as possible uh, uh, we need to get stuff from like horses and things Oh, we're just leaving him there. Yeah, yeah, because we need to come back this way when we're leaving. I'm assuming. I mean, those horses are totally going to default on their end payments after today, yeah. so yeah. they've got tonight, I guess, but then tomorrow they'll be kicked out. Or resold, yeah. more accurately. Because mm -hmm. people will assume you just died in the undermarch. <laughs> uh, okay, well, should we just say, let us settle up some uh, finances in town, then we will be. Yeah, so like a couple of hours. Mm -hmm. You know where to find me when you're ready. You guys, nods at everyone. Best make track. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. As you start to head out of the shop as well, like. The camera lingers on him and he's got his hand on the book and he turns round and kind of like half motions to the door and he shouts after you guys and says If I do track down the location of the former owner of the book, I assume this has a value to you. Arya turns around immediately and says, yes. I will let you know if I am successful. To me at least. To them, I don't know. To me, <laughs> nope. Well, I was gonna throw my axe at his face, so yeah, definitely. <laughs> he says, "Yes, I will be in touch if that is the case." And Arya just nods. Yeah, and the beads settle back into place as you leave. <laughs> so 
So uh, I think we'll leave it there, right? That's probably a good place to. That is a good place because my bra- I don't session. think my I don't think my head can take it. So let us review then. We have a name for the session to f- come up with. Uh, so I think I think memories and smells is good. <laughs> memories of youth. See, I was thinking I'm typing up just now. There we go. Memories of the cost of remembering was what I came up with. Um, Oh, that's good. But there's probably a shorthand version of that that you could probably use. But (laughs) golden (laughs) fleet. Yeah. Love it. Yeah. There weren't enough Argonauts for that joke. (laughs) I love that. No, love it. (laughs) I mean, use vote for what you want. It's whatever's getting the most votes, buddies. Oh I'm God. torn. Oh, I'm torn as well, but I'll get you. A, I'll get you. A <laughs> <as well. laughs> I'm good with whatever, so go for it. Unless I'm just getting other suggestions. Like okay, so what's the the cost translation between a heart and a winky face? Like, because there's, there's two winky, winky faces, more than one heart. Like, how does it work? <laughs> <laughs> I think golden fleeced is a likely to win this then uh, yeah oh, no, I, I, love I really that. like yours as well to be honest same Some hey, a bit torn, they're, but, they're yeah. all ours so i wouldn't worry I too much about it uh golden fleece i'll type that in that's just totally i think it's quite good yeah fleeced uh, we are still level six uh, right okay so goals we have get word to ggw about gil uh-uh. Not yet. <laughs> he could have done it, but yeah, I couldn't afford the right arm. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, though, as well, like, you have an item connected to the Great Gold Worm, or sorry, had an item connected yeah. to the Great Gold Worm. Like, yeah. uh, figure out how to close hell holes as a team safely. Again, maybe this guy. We could have done it. <laughs> again, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Get to forge safely. Looks like it might happen now. Right. Yep. Yeah. I uh, get the dwarves to help the citadel. Still seems like you need to get to forge first before that's likely to happen. First, yeah. <laughs> and then get proof to convince Lord to vouch for us. So, I wouldn't say it's Technically, quite specifically the way it's been worded, but I think it's achieved because you've done what you wanted to do. Got the proof, but we're just not going to bother with mm-hmm. the Lord. But and yeah. it does say get proof to convince him. So. Yeah, yeah, we've got proof that we'd convince them, but we just don't. So, does somebody want to move that to the completed list? I think that works. Yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of yeah, it's kind of changed that I'll move it over. It is close uh, enough. It is not a million miles away from what it is because you do have the proof, right? Uh, yeah. Are you? Um, if you don't have inspiration marked, mark inspiration. <laughs> but I think you should have it marked from last time, unless you've spent it since then. No answer. Okay. Is it, sorry. No. Oh. marks inspiration because it's a, it's a goal yeah. that it's you'd Arya. suggested. Yeah. Uh, oh. Okay. Yeah. I still had it from. Yep. Last then it doesn't matter. You don't I get. You give don't get, one of them. Nope. To, nope. nope. Use it's, it more often. Yep. <laughs> they're there to be used. Yep. And they don't stack. You only had it once. So there we go. I obviously, if anybody's got a goal in mind right now, feel free to tell me it. We can put put in. Any ideas? No. Get an yeah. audience with the king. Oh, be, well, yeah, no, because that's kind of been done. <laughs> yeah. It's like saying, cool, this guy's going to take us to the park. Next week, can our new goal be arrive at the park, please? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, ah, doesn't kind of qualify. I Feel free to think about it, obviously, between sessions. That's a hundred times your level in XP, everybody, by the way, because a goal's been completed. So... <laughs> That is 600 XP. 600? Right, mm-hmm. okay. Nice, nice, nice. Mm-hmm. 14825. Mm-hmm. It's not bad. Yeah. What's the next level? Like 20,000? A lot more. Um, let me get that answer right now because I should be able to get uh, that info. It's uh, a lot. It is a I decent think it's jump. It's 40,000, isn't it? Uh, or 36,000, something like that. 23,000. 23, yeah. yeah. It's in five E rules, which is maybe the next one. Place to put it, yeah. but yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Imagine that. <laughs> <laughs> you should just make it own channel XP rules. Um, 
Right, let's review then. So let's just start with Arya at the top and we'll just work our way down. Arya is happy that there's a chance they might find their Yes. That is <laughs> definitely still a thing that can definitely still happen, right? Yes. He says in that's... GM. <laughs> well, true. But but yeah, that's that's the highlight of this session for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good. Uh... Grumper? This session was painful. <laughs> 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 You say that any time you have to think, but then you're the one that chooses to speak to weird people, okay? Yeah, I know. You have yourself to blame. Right. I, I, I blame Ryan for allowing me to do things. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like you don't have your own No, agency. I mean, it was like, as much as I hate having to rack my fucking brain trying to think of stuff, it is good because it puts me out of my comfort zone and that's when we kind of get the best progression, I think. Yeah, no, I'd agree. I think it was... Um, but, but also, I had to give up my jug, so Ryan, I hate you. <laughs> you didn't have to, you just chose to. Um, <laughs> because what else could we have given up? Your base? I mean, you could literally just have waited and then got the Dwarf Lord to take you. So that... Yeah. He's a, he's a <laughs> penis. That would have backfired. He'd have got guy. you lost in the Undermarch, most likely, by being wrecked. I, so. I, guarantee, right, I guarantee you, right, 100%, if we had followed through with that other guy... I would have killed him. Mm -hmm. Like, so, straight up axe through the skull killed him. I would have made it awkward. A little bit, yeah. So we've brought you this dead lord we found on the way here. Please let yeah. us in. Why is your oh no, look him? what happened by accident. Like <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you're not my scabbard. Pulls axe out of it. <laughs> Horrible. Oh dear. And, uh, no, wait! I could have killed him with the axe and then changed the weapon type to something else and be like, well, clearly he got killed by an axe. I don't have an axe. And true that, yeah. That's totally not me. Oh, no. I have this tiny hammer. <laughs> Still looks like an axe for some reason. <laughs> um, so, yeah, anything else you want to add, Grumbar, besides complaining you had to think because you asked a guy weird questions and he gave you weird answers? Uh... You have definitely added a very interesting character into this game right now. And Thanks, that Sophie's really... D12 role. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, Sophie has added a very interesting <laughs> character into this game, which is You're welcome. pretty damn good. <laughs> uh, no, it was good because I didn't have a specific person in mind for who I wanted to be the owner of the shop in terms of race choices, so I thought it was more interesting to roll randomly hey, for it. Is, is he an actual race, or is it just one that you've kind of made up? No, yeah, it, it's a thing, yeah. Mm. Would you, you got her to roll randomly? I just pulled something out of my ear anyway. Like, yeah, it's good. Mm. Uh, but yeah, like, maybe the more you get on with this guy, maybe if you actually like him and, you know, ingratiate yourself with him, maybe you'll learn more. You mm -hmm. both have sad pasts, so... Yay! Trauma friendship. Yeah. What about yourself, um, Kitleth? It's just annoying when it's just like, yeah, and payment, but money's no good here. <laughs> it's mm. like, God damn it, we have all this money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, it was, it, we've not really picked up anything that we would want to give away, per se. Yeah. Like, what we have is what we want. Mm -hmm. So it's, it is difficult when you're like looking through your inventory, like, could I part with this? But it's OP. Uh, yeah. And that's kind of why he asks for that, right? Because mm. then it matters. So no point saying, it. well, here, have this thing I don't actually care about. It's worthless to me. <laughs> so... Yeah, it definitely seems to care about that. That's how barter works, though. <laughs> <laughs> you get worthless to you for something worth to you. <laughs> but, yeah. I mean, it's not how he works, though, is it? So, yeah. yeah. This is. I mean, you could have went to one of the closed door shops on the right-hand side of the street. <laughs> I was actually thinking that as well. Go um, another, what would have happened? Don't go to the boss, he'll change your fortune. But, yeah, yeah you wouldn't have made it easy. I know you wouldn't have made it easy, though. You go there and it's just him again. Oh, hello there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> even right, I guarantee you. Even if we had left his shop and went to another shop, it would have still been him. So we're joking mm -hmm. there, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else from that, Sophie? No. 
Rich? It's a good character. Annoying, but good. Thank you. I that appreciate it. That was painful. <laughs> okay. 170 crumber. Very painful. <laughs> <laughs> Much like the what you think I should value this thing you value that I want to value bullshit part. Yeah, that was fun. Um, yeah. <laughs> fun in quotation marks. Uh, <laughs> at least if he seems to have came across like a different NPC than everybody else I actually am, which is nice. Because that's the goal as a GM is to make people feel different. Right? That's it. I, if everybody felt like they were the same cookie cutter of a person, the game's a bit shit. So mm. I'm glad you're enjoying the, the the NPC work that way. Um, anything else you want to add to do? It should mean massive progress though, in the journey. That yeah, right. A bit, yeah, yeah really it's a big should. thing. And also, that's, that's the nice. second time he's completed a goal. Like last week, I think he's got one right. Um, yeah, I think so. I think yeah. it was last week and now this week. Um, mm -hmm. That or it was just the previous week. I forget time. Time's meaningless just now. Um, <laughs> but yeah. So that's been pretty good going. At least I've started to pick up a bit of speed with some the goals, which is good. Um, obviously, I'm quite happy with the XP gains for now as well, in terms of it being 100 times the level instead of 50 times. I'm happy with that so far. It seems to be working. Right. When you get to level 7, I'll have a bit more information to know if it's working the way I wanted to or not. Yeah. yeah, just to see how it's going. Because uh, that has to factor in combat XP and stuff as well as mm -hmm. and when that comes up so but it'll be pretty much this, this system until level 7 guaranteed um, unless I have a brainstorm since then anything else anybody wants to add besides goodbye because uh, thank you again for playing guys no I'm mm -hmm. happy there yeah perfect and goodbye everybody bye bye, bye.